Hey Turtle Nerds, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I want to show you guys a really cool species of box turtle that I personally love and that a friend of mine has here in this really nice big wooden enclosure out in the middle of nowhere South Carolina. But today we are going to be looking at the ornate box turtle. Their scientific name is Terrapine ornata ornata, but the United States, especially in North America, has all kinds of really cool box turtles, but these guys are the ornates. They are found in the middle of the United States. Basically, if you go from Texas and swath upwards, that is where they are pretty much found. Of course, there's some variability in that information. However, I just want to give you guys a general sense of where these guys are from. Ooh, look, look, ooh, the mosquitoes will try to go through my shirt. Ooh, I hear them around me. Ooh. Oh, I want to die. Now over here is the full enclosure. You can see it's probably something like, I don't know, 40 feet that way by maybe 20. 20, 10 or 15 feet that way. Uh, I don't really know the exact numbers. However, as these guys come over to beg, there's one right now actually, you will begin to see the vegetation start moving, sort of like that one scene in Jurassic Park. But these guys are a lot smaller than the Eastern box turtle and they're gonna come over to beg for food right now. They are a really, really fascinating species. They're super cool. They'll live in these forested areas. They spend most of their time on land, but they are box turtles, so they love to swim, and they do enjoy taking nice cool baths in order to soak and regulate their body temperature. So water and high humidity is very important for the species. It can get dry, but for hatchlings especially, high humidity is a must. Here comes another one with that vegetation starting to move. You can see these big branches are moving. A real Really, really big attitude from a really really little box turtle here they all come these guys are absolutely beautiful as well you can see the variability between individuals and this one's much more black and yellow compared to this one for example and my favorite has yet to come he's got basically red on his feet and on his arms, but these guys are begging for food and it is actually feeding time for them. So as more and more are aware of my presence and begin coming down over to this little feeding area, I suggest that we go get these little guys some worms. So here we have some beautiful night crawlers. They are absolutely massive, and that is a favorite treat of these box turtles. These guys will eat pretty much anything that they can get their little beaks on, anything in this enclosure that is edible for them, any leafy greens that they deem they can utilize, any types of fruits or vegetables or anything like that that they would be able to find, they will eat. This includes little roly-poly pill bugs or isopods. This includes worms, cicadas, dragonflies, grubs, beetles, anything that they can dig and find, they will eat absolutely anything but these ones here's my favorite absolutely love worms we're just gonna pick up one of these big slimy boogers there they go and they're gonna probably annoy each other and fight for one but I need to get them all fed so that way they are not missing out on any look at how gross and slimy these worms are these things are nasty Here is one of the box turtles soaking in this pool. Absolutely beautiful little boogers. I actually have to come in here and clean up this water dish so it's a little bit nicer and cleaner for them so they have access to nice fresh water. There are a couple of these trays in this massive enclosure so that way no matter where they go they can get access to clean and fresh water. Here these guys are chowing down on some nice fat night crawlers. Hey, don't go stealing his food when you already have your own. Now, generally, you're gonna wanna separate these turtles because they are super aggressive when it comes to feeding. You can see they can easily mistaken one another for a worm or for something actually edible. So I would heavily, heavily suggest splitting these guys up for feeding, but I'm getting eaten by mosquitoes and I really cannot stay out here for that long because I will 
get eaten alive and die. But you can see they are really cool species, really awesome and easy to care for as long as you provide proper access to UVB and a heating source. Outside, these guys have nice sources of natural sunlight. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more of what I'm doing, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the little bell notification thingy to get notified when I upload. I'm also working on my Patreon and that should be available within the next two or three weeks, but I have a lot going on. I also have a new addition right over there, which I will have a video on within the next maybe week and a half. If I can get on it, I'm probably gonna start working on it right now after I upload this video because I am tired of being absent. So if you guys wanna see more of these fellas, Make sure to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, comment what you thought about those box turtles, and I will see you all in the next one.